This is Ramaz al the creator of Afogadol game on Steam, also the co-founder of Binary Loon channel where we share Unity tutorial and experiments. Until today, we have more than 70 videos available for you to learn from them. Whether you are a beginner or an intermediate, you will learn a new things for sure in this course. This course covers everything for even the beginners. So we will start from the basic knowledge related to the concepts behind the shaders, the render pipelines, and then how to start building your project using the universal render pipeline. And as I believe the best way to learn something is to start creating it. And for that, we created uh, various 2D and 3D shaders. So we will go from simple shaders to more advanced one. So we will start with 2D shaders by building the simplest shader that renders the 2D sprites. Then we, go, we will go to creating a 2D fireball projectile. Then we will learn about vertex header graph that moves the vegetations and the flora in your 2D scene or game. Then we will go to the dissolve 2D dissolve shader graph. Then we will talk about 2D distortion shader graph. Then we will move to the pixelation shader graph in addition to creating a magical shader potion that allows you to simulate the movement of grass or vegetation in a 2D pixel art scene. After that, we will move to creating 3D shader graph and we will start by the simplest default lit shader graph to understand all the types of maps that's used to formulate a shader graph, the base map, the normal map, the smoothness and metallic maps, the normal and height maps, and finally the ambient occlusion map. Then we will start creating some more complex shaders. So we will start by the stylized water shader graph. Then we will go to the half tone shader graph and we will cover also the subsurface scattering in addition to the three planner shader graph and all concepts related to that. And finally, we will complete the course by recreating the Zelda tune shader graph. But that's not all. Also, I'll provide you with some more extra contents. So I'll talk about how to implement all the shaders that we learned to help you create VFXs in your video game. So we will create a stylized fireball projectile and we also learn how to create a fiery axe portal punch VFX. And finally, we'll end this course by talking about the color theory and how you can choose the best combinations of colors to bring your game to life. If you found this course interesting, you can enroll now on Udemy and enjoy the great discount provided there.